Hey guys, David here from Google to 55 Tech Tutorials, and today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak your iDevice that is running iOS 5.1.1. This will work on all iOS devices, including the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad, and it will also work on the Apple TV 1 and 2. This won't work on the Apple TV 3. And this is an untethered jailbreak, which means that you won't need to plug it into your computer. And just to prove to you that this is running iOS 5.1.1, there you can see it is, and this is just my iPhone 4. So let's get right into the video. So first off, um, I'm just going to let you know that if you are already running a, a tethered jailbreak, then all that you need to do to make it untethered right now is go ahead and open up Cydia. And once it is done loading, all that you need to do is go to search and type in Rocky Raccoon. And that raccoon is spelled without a double C, so it's just one C in raccoon. Hit search and choose the Rocky Raccoon 5.1.1 Untethered Jailbreak. Hit install, hit confirm, and that'll make your current tether jailbreak into an untethered jailbreak. Okay, so now if you're just watching this video because you just want to know how to jailbreak it and you don't have a tethered jailbreak on iOS 5.1.1 yet, then now that's where we're going to do it. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is if you have a passcode lock on your iDevice, you're going to want to go into the settings and turn it off or else this might fail. And w once you've done that, you can go ahead and plug it into the computer with your USB cable. And it's plugged in. So if iTunes comes up, you could just close it. Now the second thing that you're going to want to do is look in the description. I'll have download links below. You're going to want to download a program called Absynth. And I have versions for Windows, Mac, and Linux below. So download the one corresponding to your OS. And depending on which one you download, you might need to extract it because it might be in a zip file. So if it is, go ahead and do that. Now we're going to run it. So if, if you downloaded the one for Windows, you're going to need to go into the folder and run this first. But um, after this is done running, it basically makes the program usable. Now, once that has finished, you'll see a new folder here. You could go ahead and open it and just run absynth.exe. Now, if you're on a Mac or Linux, you're just going to want to run the program straight out. You don't need to do any of the steps. I don't think you do. Anyway, so anyway, so you should see your iPhone or iPod or iPad or Apple TV or whatever you have plugged into your computer. You should see it written right here. And it's as simple as that. All you need to do is click jailbreak. And it might take a while depending on the speed of your computer and also the speed of your USB ports. So just wait a minute and the jailbreak will install itself. This doesn't require putting your iPod or iPhone or iPad into DFU mode luckily. So you should see this restore in progress screen on your device. It's nothing bad. It's just the way that the jailbreak works. And you should see your device rebooting after a little while. And you should see the Apple logo with the little progress bar. It's just uploading the jailbreak. There isn't too much action going on on the screen except for the progress bar. This part here might take a while, so I'm just going to cut it here and come back when it's done. Now you can see here that it has gone back to the lock screen and we're just still waiting on the computer for the thing to finish. So just be patient, it might take a little while. Okay, now on the computer when it says done, enjoy, you should be able to slide to unlock and you will see that you have Cydia which is the jailbreak app store for those of you who don't know. So you are jailbroken right now. So thanks for watching and I hope I helped. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button. It really helps me out. Also, if you have any questions or comments, you can feel free to leave them in the comments box below. Don't be afraid to send me any requests. I want to make every request possible. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. For more, go to goguda55techtutorials.co.nr and follow goguda55techtutorials on Twitter and like goguda55techtutorials on Facebook. All the links are in the description below.